This is Into Math, Module 17, Lesson 3. The I can statement is I can regroup hundreds and tens to subtract three digit numbers. We will be working on pages 408 to 409. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 408. We will begin under Build Understanding. Jamelia has 623 pennies. Calvin has 478 pennies. How many more pennies does Demelia have than Calvin? And then they have written the problem out for you. First, we have the number of, of pennies that Jamelia has, and then we have the number of pennies that Calvin has, and we're trying to find the difference and how many more does Jamelia have than Calvin? So here we have the problem written out for us, and now we're gonna follow the directions. Make a concrete model to represent Jamelia's pennies. Draw a visual model to show your work. So we know that the number of pennies uh, that she has is 623. So we are going to draw six uh, hundreds, and remember we're using these uh, squares to represent a hundred. So there's six. And then we have two for um, the tens, because there's two in the tens column. And then we have three for the ones column. So this represents uh, 623. Now it says, how can you subtract Calvin's 478 pennies? Use your visual model to work out the subtraction. Do you need to regroup? And we'll need to answer this. Okay, so we have the number of pennies that uh, Calvin has, which is 478. We need to subtract that from Jamelia's penny 623. Okay, so we'll start with the ones. We need to subtract eight ones. Well, when I look at our ones, we don't have eight. So what I'll need to do then is I will need to uh, take this group of 10 and cross that out and I will need to turn it into 10 ones instead of a bar of 10. So that's what I'm doing right now. I took this one 10 here and I regrouped and made 10 here. So now I have three and 10, which is 13. So now I can take uh, away eight, and I'll go ahead and do that now and cross out um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I've crossed out eight, and now I need to do the next part, which is the tens. So I need to subtract uh, seven tens. Well, I don't have seven tens. If I go over to my tens, I only have this one right here. So you guessed it, we're going to need to regroup one of the hundreds. So I'm going to take this hundred here, I'm gonna cross it out, and I'm going to regroup and draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten tens, because this hundred is really ten tens. So I have regrouped this hundred and, and turned it into 10 tens. So now I have one plus the 10. So I have 11 tens. So I can take away the seven by marking off seven. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we have crossed off all of the tens and we have the rest of the tens. And then the last thing we need to do is take away the four hundreds. So we're going to go ahead and cross out one, two, three, four. Awesome. So we can answer this question. Do you need to regroup? Yes, absolutely we do. And we did regroup. And what was our final answer? Well, we have five ones, we have four tens left over, and then we have 100. So our answer is going to be 145. Okay, now it's asking us to record your regrouping. So let's go through the problem again. 
we had 623, that was what was in green, and then we were taking away 478, which we did that in the, with the red. So we'll start always in the ones column. We had three ones, and then we needed to take away eight. We couldn't do that, so we came over to this 10 right here, and we crossed it off. So we're going to cross off this 10, and we're going to now only have 110, which is this green one. So we're gonna put the number one right here. And then we took that 10 and we broke it into uh, 10 ones. So now we didn't just have 10 ones, we also had these three. So instead of three on the ones column, we had 13. And then we took those 13 and we subtracted eight and we put eight red X's. And when we were finished, guess what we had? Five in the ones column. So we can go ahead and record that and write five here. Great. Now we look at the tens column. So we had one group of 10 and we needed right here and then we needed to subtract seven, but we didn't have enough. So we went over to the hundreds and we took one of these hundreds and we crossed it out and we regrouped and we made 10 groups of 10. So now we had 10 and this one here, which made 11. So again, we went over to the hundreds, there were six. We crossed one out and that, on, that left five, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put five here, that's the new number of hundreds. And then over in the tens, we had one plus 10 and that makes 11, so we don't have one anymore, we have 11. So now we took those 11 and we crossed, we took away seven and we crossed out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when we did that, guess what we had left? We had four left, so we can record that here. And then the last part, we took the 500s and we took away four one, two, three, four, and what did we have left? We had one left, so we can record that here. So we have solved this, this problem. Jamelia has um, 145 more pennies. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 409. Here they give us the equation 331 take away 175 equals the answer. First part asks us to draw a visual model to show how to find the difference, which is our subtraction. If you regroup, show it in your work. So you may want to pause and try this part on your own, or you can follow along with me. I am first gonna take the number 331 and draw this out. One, two, three for my hundreds three tens, and one one. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and subtract 175, and we always start with the ones column. I don't have enough ones to subtract, so I'm going to need to regroup. I take one of my tens, I cross them out, and I regroup to show 10 ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw those now. Now I have not 10, but I already had another one there. So I have a total of 11 ones and I'm able to take away five from this group. So I'm going to go ahead and cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is what I have left. Okay, the next part asks me to subtract uh, seven. So I'm going to go to my tens column. I see that I have two tens and I need to subtract seven. So I'm going to have to go over to the next door column, which is the hundreds. I'm going to cross out one of my hundreds and I'm going to regroup. I'm going to make 10, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 tens, that's what makes a hundred. And now I have 
these 10 and these two, which make 12. So I'm going to be able to now um, take 12 and take away seven. So I'll go ahead and cross those out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is what I have left. I have five left. Great, we're almost done. Now I go to the hundreds and I see that I have two hundreds here and I need to take away one. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out one. So what do I have left? I have uh, six ones. So I can write that down, six ones. I have five tens and I have one hundred. So I can write that down as well. Now I'm going to solve. So I start with, these are the same numbers, 331 take away 175, just like we had here and here in our visual model. One take away five. I don't have enough to take away five, so I'm going to need to go next door. I see that I have three tens, so I am going to cross one of those tens out and make take one of the tens, change the three to two, and bring that group, just like we did here, bring that 10, and I'm going to make it into 10 ones. So now I have one plus 10, and that makes 11. So I no longer have one, I have 11. Now I can subtract 11, take away five, which I know is six. Now I'm ready to look at the tens column. I have two, take away seven. I have two bars and I need to take away seven bars. I don't have enough. I'll need to go to the next column, the hundreds. Here I have 100, which I know is 10 tens. So I will cross out one of the hundreds and I'll go ahead and cross out one of the hundreds and I, that leaves me with two hundreds instead of three. So I'll make this into a two. And then I bring those 10 over and you'll see that we already had one, two plus the 10. Two plus 10 makes 12. So now I don't have two tens, I have 12 tens. So I can take 12 and subtract seven, which I did by crossing them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that left me with five ones. So I'll go ahead and record that here. The last part, there were two hundreds. I needed to cross off one, so I crossed off one. What was I left with? I was left with one. So we have solved this equation, and the answer is 156. Let's take a look at check understanding. You can pause and try this on your own and come back to check your answer, or you can follow along with me. Mrs. Peters buys a pack of 750 craft sticks to use in her art class. Her students use 385 craft sticks for their projects. How many craft sticks are left? Solve. Okay, so first we have the 750 craft sticks, which Mrs. Peters has, and then the students use 385, so then we're going to take away 385. We are going to start with the ones column. We have zero, and we need to take away five. We can't do that, so we'll need to go over to the tens column. There are five tens, so we're going to go ahead and take one of those. We'll cross it out, and that leaves four, because we're going to take one of those and bring it over to the ones column. 10 plus the zero amount of ones that we have makes the new number 10. So we don't have zero anymore, now we have 10 ones. And then we can subtract 10 minus five, which we know is five. The ones column is complete. Now we can look at the tens column. We have four tens, and we need to take away eight. We can't take eight from four, there's not enough. So we'll need to go next door to the hundreds. 
we see that there are seven hundreds there. We are going to cross out the seven, make that a six. We take one of those hundreds and we move it over to the tens because we know that 100 is 10 tens. So now we have 10 plus four, so we no longer have four, we have 10 plus four, which makes 14. Now we can take 14 and subtract eight. When we take 14, subtract eight, we get the number six. The last part is to solve the hundreds column. We have six hundreds and we need to take away three hundreds. Six take away three makes three. So our answer is 365 craft sticks. As always, you can go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way anytime as needed.